Hello friends, welcome to QGIS Basics. In today's video, we will learn simple query, special query and buffer zone. So let's get started. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe QGIS Future of GIS and save this playlist so that you can get updates. Today I have two layers, one is road layer and second one is place. So this is my place layer where I have 27 features. You can see the number of features here by clicking show feature count. Similarly you can see the roads, you can see road count by right click and click on show feature count you will see 20,375 road features are here so let's start with first start with simple query so here in place area I have 27 features if I want to filter some features so what should be what are they first we will see in our place table there are f class and there are villages towns city island these are the f class if we want to count how many number of villages in places area how to do that just right click on filter you will see query builder double click on F class it will comes to here click equal to and you can see the values of F class here click on sample or all so I want to check how many villages are there so I'll double click on it it will come so our query will become F class equal to villages it is good practice first you click test so it will give the result so result was there were 11 rows I click OK and click OK now will you will see only earlier it was 27 now it is 11 so these are the 11 villages as I open attribute table only these villages are visible these are the villages if I want to see the cities then you have to again right click filter first we will remove this just click clear and ok again filter now f class equal to I want to see the towns and click on test you will see it returns six rows so these are the towns you will see here these are the six towns as you open the attribute table it has web class town only so this is how you can do the simple query you can add more query to this if you want to see town and cities then what you have to do you have to just add or f class equals to oh first I have to clear this just clear this and ok again filter f class equal to city or f class equals to town so as I click result it will give me 10 rows and click OK OK now you will see the attribute table you will see town and cities both are appearing so this is the multiple attribute query you can say this it's a simple query but it's can it's checking the two conditions here I am we have checked I have checked the 
two conditions if I click and and will not work here you will see it returns zero rows now if you are in toggle editing mode one thing to be noted if you are in a toggle editing mode then filter or attribute query is not run so you have to turn off this and only after that filter option is activated one more method to go to query builder is it's from source you can go from here also this is also a in layer property source you can go from here also query builder so this is how we can do simple query now let's jump to special query I have a road layer here and place layer so if I want to see how many roads are passing through this town I'm just taking information this is a town so how many roads are passing through this town so how to do that just type here select by location a dialog will appear you can do this by intersect roads intersect places if I click this if I click run this it will show me all the roads selected through all the towns all the places area if I want only roads passing through this town then what I have to do I have to do one thing just deselect this earlier query and I will select this town first I will select this town I had selected this town now I will run this query again select by location roads intersect places and check this select feature only I have checked this box select feature only and click on run you will now you will see only the roads which are pass intersecting this town are highlighted you will see uh, the layers are selected I am just want to save these export selected feature as I just uh, save these roads intersect town ok now these are the only roads which are intersect the town if I want to do another query I am just turning off this deselect the feature and again run select by location I will select roads now roads crosses place and just select the town and select feature only now I want the only roads which crosses the town so as I click run now I we have these layers I'll just save this selection export save selected feature as roads cross town click save and save now we'll see we have roads crosses town and roads intersect town you will see the difference here if I just uh, make this symbology more bold okay now we'll see if I check the feature count of these roads you will see 15 15 roads are intersecting the town and 8 roads are crossing the town so you'll see the difference what is the roads intersect town and road cross the hope you understand there are other options also intersects contain disjoint equal cross equal overlap uh, touches these are you can try yourself this is how we can 
do the special query if you want to generate a buffer for this so just type here buffer buffer if I want to generate buffer for this so we have to first we have to change our projection to meter save it as export save feature as road intersect down change it to meters meters save and select the projection of India LCC here it, now we have this layer in meters so now do how to change do how to create buffer buffer road intersects down meter now you'll see here is no exclamation mark earlier it, there is an explanation mark so I want to create a buffer of 50 meter and this one just click on you will see a buffer layer created here this is how you can create the buffer and with buffer buffer is a polygon layer you can create another layer uh, another query on this if you have some places points or some this one point of worship so this you can run the query for places within 50 meter of road you can find how many places or point of versus within 50 meter of road then how to do this then you just do select select by location and point of worship within buffer just run it you will see two features are selected this is how you do the queries one more query for creating buffer I'll tell you this is using geometry generator I will cover geometry generator in a separate video this is a huge chapter so just have a look at this just right click properties you can open from here also and you can open from here also this is the properties click on simple line in single symbol click on simple line open this symbol type layer type and select gener geometry generator you will see geometry type polygon line point so I'll select polygon here is the geometry so I'll generate a buffer bracket and comma 50 you will see it's generated here this is the simple if you want to change 100 then it will changes to 100 you can change the color from here and you can set the transparency you can change color this is the color if I want to change it to 10 meters then it's changed to 10 meters this is how generate geometry generator works this is the sing simple preview of generator, geometry generator you can do many more things with geometry generator so that's all in this video thank you for watching please subscribe my channel and press the like button and comment if you want some more videos which you want I haven't covered in this syllabus so just comment me thank you